Hello everyone and welcome back to Mr. Anderson's Algebra 1 Lessons and today I'd like to talk to you about a topic that we've been talking about in my personal classroom and that's how to find the lowest common multiple of three algebraic expressions and so what you see up here on my paper is I have three algebraic expressions which is uh, an algebraic expression is something that has a number and a variable tied to it. So um, I have the three up here and I have 40u squared, 32u, and 16u squared. And so um, I'd like to talk to you about how you should find or start uh, the LCM uh, of this three algebraic expressions. So what I typically do is I find um, the LCM of two of the expressions first, and I get a number that they share together as their lowest common multiple. And what I do then is I take that number that they have, that number, and I find the common the lowest common multiple between the last expression and the LCM that I just found and what that gives me is the lowest common multiple that all of them share because if these two numbers have a low multiple that they share then this one if you find the lowest common multiple between those two that means that they share are shared between all three of them okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the LCM of 32 and 16 or 32u and 16u squared. So I'm going to kind of kind of branch this off here a little bit so I have a little bit of space to work and uh, I'm going to begin to find the LCM and I start off by finding the prime factorization so I want to find the prime factorization of 32u, and I know that if you multiply 8 times 4, that gives you 32, and I, those aren't prime, so I need to keep going down, factoring, and so this would give me 2 times 4, and this would give me 2 times 2, and 4 is not prime yet, so that's 2 times 2. So that gives me my prime factorization of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and I can't forget this u right here so I'm going to bring that guy down to times u at the very end. Now I'm going to find the prime factorization of 16u squared. So I break that up into 4 times 4 which gives me 2 times 2 and 2 times 2 and this prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times u times u. There's two u's up there, so i got to bring those down. Okay. Now what I have my kids do is I have them find the stuff for the um, GCF first. So I'm going to circle the things they have in common to find the GCF first, but that is not what we're looking for here. We're looking for the LCM. So. I need to look for the things they have in common, and I see that they have four twos in common, and they also have one U. So that means I have some things that are not in common, and how to find the LCM is you take the things that are not in common, and you multiply them across to the other side, to the very top number. So I have a u over here, or a 2 over here, and I'm going to multiply it up to 16u squared, and that will give me this LCM of uh, 2 times 16u squared. And over here I have a u, I'm going to multiply that over to the other side. So I would have 32u times u. 
And so what I tell my students is if I have uh, these two match their answer, that is the LCM of these guys. So I need to do that. So 32u times u is 32u squared. And 2 times 16 is 32u squared. So what that means is that is the LCM of these two expressions. So I'm going to write that here. So I got 32u squared. Okay? So now what I need to do is I need to find the LCM between these two numbers. And when I find the LCM of these two numbers, that will give me the lowest common multiple that encircles all of these numbers. Okay? So that is what I'm looking for. And I'm actually going to uh, go to another sheet of paper here so that I can, um, I can write this out because I ran out of space. So now I'm looking for the LCM. And I'm going to look for the LCM of 32u squared and 40u squared. Now, this is not another problem. This is still the same problem. So I'm going to split this guy up. And I know that that uh, 32 is going to break down into 8 and 4, which goes down to the 4 and 2. And that's 2 and 2. And that's 2 and 2. So the prime factorization here is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times u times u. Okay? Now 40, I'm going to split up into 4 times 10. And that's 2 and 2. And 2 and 5. So this prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times u times u. So now, again, I'm going to look for the things they have in common, and I'm going to circle that. I see they have three twos in common. Right there. And I see they have two u's. Circle the two u's. Like that. And what gives me left over is I have 2 times 2 on this side, which I'm going to take, and I'm going to multiply up to this number up here. And I'm going to take this 5 over here that's uncommon, and I'm going to multiply that over here. So I tell my students that if I have um, these two numbers, it's like checking yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay. So I'm going to check, and if they're the same, that means I found the LCM for all three expressions. So I will have 5 times 32u squared over there, and I'll have 2 times 2 times 40u squared here, and so that gives me 4 times 40 which is 80 and 80, so that's 160, 160 u squared. And 5 times 32 is also 160 squared, u squared, 160 u squared. So what I just found is I found the LCM of... 40u squared, 32u, and 16u squared is 160u squared. Now, another way to find this co lowest common multiple is you could take all three expressions and make uh, a list of all the multiples and go through and circle the ones they share and the one that's the lowest is your common multiple, which is what you're going to find here, okay? So thanks again for watching. Uh, this has been Mr. Anderson's Algebra 1 Lessons. Again, if you have a comment and want to like my video or share it, please do. It would really help me out in uh, my situation. And so 
I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and this video, and I wish you good luck in all that you do. Peace out.